Hey everyone, this is Alvin over at Contender Bicycles here in Salt Lake City in Park City, Utah. I'm here to talk to you today about our two most asked about bicycles in the shop, the Orbea Gain and Pinarello Diodo e-road bikes. This past summer, Orbea brought us this bike, the Orbea Gain. We are really impressed with the bike's overall versatility, value for money, and refinement from the e-bike motion drive unit. We are ready to crown this bike the king of all e-road bikes, at least until the fall when Pinarello brought us the Diodo. It had the same drive unit from e-bike motion and even had the same wheel set, the Mavic Axiom Race UST. However, despite all the similarities, if you look at the prices for the two bikes, at $79.99 for this Pinarello Diodo and $47.99 for this Orbea Gain Carbon with Shimano Ultegra Mechanical, we are starting to wonder, why is there such a big price difference? And once we took them out on the road, the differences became very apparent. Let's start with the Diodo right over here. I was able to ride this bike with its non-electrified sibling, the Prince, back to back. And there's a lot of noticeable similarities that come from having a Pinarello. There's a specific kind of handling that comes from the bike, a specific kind of ride quality, and a specific kind of performance out of the saddle that you'd expect a, of a Pinarello, and both of those bikes had them. In fact, the Diodo shares a lot of geometry with the Prince, even having similar wheelbase, head and seat tube angles, and even reach and stack numbers. The difference here being that the head tube is very slightly longer on the Diodo than the Prince. Turn-in is immediate, acceleration is really strong, and the bike, for me, under my 120 pound frame, is plenty stiff. With Pinarello, as I said, there's a bit of an expectation in how a bike handles and performs and looks. However, with Orbea, that's not really the case, and you can kind of tell that with the gain. Not only does the gain come in alloy as well as carbon models like this bike here, but you'll also find that the geometry is much more like that of an endurance road bike or an all-road bike, like what you'd find from a dozen other manufacturers. It even has space for a 40C tire, which completely underlines this bike's mission of being a really versatile bike for a lot of different people. Out on the road, it's apparent that this bike is much happier, putting around at 15 or 16 miles an hour deep in the drive unit's assist. However, with the Diodo, it almost feels like it wants you to go above the 20 mile an hour cutoff and keep pushing yourself and go further and faster and harder. And when comparing these two bikes, it's really quite interesting how this kind of represents a dichotomy of the road bike segment as a whole. The Diodo is a bit of the old guard. If you came to a bike shop five years ago even, you'd find that all the road bikes were extremely focused on performance and outright speed. And that's kind of what the Diodo is. It has razor sharp handling, it's really stiff out of the saddle, and it gives you everything that you'd expect from the Pinarello. On the other hand, the gain is kind of what we're finding that new road bike riders are looking for. They're looking for something that's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more versatile, and a bike that's just gonna get them out there on an adventure. Which bike is for you? Ultimately, that's for you to decide. If you have one goal, going out on a ride and that's to go as fast as you can, then the Diodo is your choice. Few bikes handle as well as this with or without the electric drive unit. However, if you're looking to simply get out there and have fun, few bikes are gonna make you as happy as the Orbea Gain will. That's it everyone. If you have any other questions about these bikes, we make sure to go in depth in our other reviews and videos on the Pinarello Diodo and Orbea Gain. Otherwise, feel free to come by our shop, put your hands on them, take them out for a test ride. Also, you can visit our website at contenderbicycles.com, send us an email at info at contenderbicycles.com, or give us a call during business hours. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Thanks.